So we've spoken a little bit about pages and linking to pages in the previous videos, but now we want to look at a little bit more of the task management functionality and also looking at space repetition and how you can do flashcards in LogSeq. While the basics are really, really cool and probably all you need, if you want to do a few more things, you can use these different tags in your database. And the first one of those is your task management tagging. And the way that I use that is just using the control enter um, shortcut. And that brings up a to do, doing or done task management approach. So if I say um, control enter to do, do this thing, that links to this to do page. But if I click on that, it will change it to doing. And if I click in there, it will change it to done. So that's a very useful task management system. And I can also add priority to these blocks. So if I go here and I say, A, this is priority A. And maybe I have another thing, which is, and I'll just say, I can even tap to do. So to do another thing. And let me say, this is priority B. Let me just scroll down so you can see where it's finding that down here in these task approaches. And there we go, priority B. So that's a very useful functionality. And I'm not going to get into it too much, but just so that you know that it's there and it's a different type of, of link. And then the other link, which is, is what enables you to do your space repetition. So space repetition is a technique that uses flashcards showing you the information that you have inputted at certain time intervals on the curve of forgetting so that you are able to remember things more easily. That's a studying technique. And I'm not going, going to go into it in too much detail, but like the way that you would add a flashcard is to say largest animal on earth. And then I would say card. And then that becomes a card. And then let me just say mm, blue whale. Another cool thing which I'd like to show you on the on the task management approach is using dates. So if I go to mom over here and if I go forward slash and I scroll down, I can see here time and date, which allow me to enter dates, but it also allows me to enter in the task management approach here, scheduled. Oh, I have to add some content first. So let me say birthday and her birthday is scheduled for the let's say the 25th of December at a repeater every one year. So now that I know that my mom's birthday is scheduled for the 25th of December every year, which is great. So that's another one of the task management features. So if I go back to home, why is this linking thing important? We spoke a little bit in the beginning about how, you know, notes taking is about inputting, but then also about being able to retrieve your notes. And the nice thing here is that I don't have to go into a folder and then go and find the file and look through the information. It really is available at the tip of my fingertips if I tag things appropriately. So instead of it being very inaccessible or having to remember a whole bunch of things, I just need to know, oh, I'm sure I would have tagged that with mom and you know something to do. And with these sorts of things here, things that I need to discuss with someone, I typically use the hashtag inbox as well. This is just one of those other things, which is like, you know, an approach for me, which helps me to remember what I want to discuss with someone. So there's inbox and hypothetically, I wanted to discuss here necklace or blender. Great. So those are the notes there. But now in order to resurface this information, I could think about, you know, um, when I want to chat to mom about something. So I go to mom and then I see all these linked references at the bottom of the page. And a lot of them are from this one day, but you can imagine if I've had many things like over the weeks and I, I chat to my mom every month or whatever, then I could easily find it by then going here to this filtered part in linked references and then filtering for inbox. So if I click on that, it filters all the things that I need to discuss with mom. And this works really well across applications with like work meetings, with knowledge that's linked to different concepts. Very, very useful. And if I go there and I unclick it, it, it shows me all the different things again. Now, I spoke a little bit about the, the powerful searching. If I just go back 
home here and I write another block related to mom and then I go back to my page on mom you can see here that I've got these four link references but then I've also got unlink references oh and then there's another place where mom appears in my database but isn't linked to mom so very very powerful search functionality if you haven't tagged it and what I can do from here if I need to tag it again is just highlight that and then square brackets square brackets and it disappears from there and it goes up into my link references. Super powerful functionality, giving you the ability to resurface information very easily. So now we've added a little bit of structure to our database. Let's look a little bit more at how we might want to navigate around Logseek and just open up the different menus.